Google has confirmed that they are phasing out the safety net attestation API in the next couple of years. The company plans to switch to what they're calling the Google Play Integrity API and recommends developers to migrate to the new system as soon as possible. So in today's video, I want to show you a free and open source application called Play Integrity API Checker that can tell you whether or not your device passes the three tests included in this API check. For those who are not familiar with what is going on, Google currently offers an API to developers that allow them to assess the hardware their application or game is currently running on. This check is said to determine if your device is authentic and is commonly referred to as the safety net attestation API. If your device fails a safety net check, then the developers who leverage this API are able to limit access to their application. A few popular examples here is the inability to use certain banking apps or preventing you from using certain streaming or gaming apps. Most developers put these checks in their app in order to prevent abuse, but our devices can fail these checks even if we only have an unlocked bootloader. The safety net attestation API is said to be going away completely sometime in 2024, and Google is replacing it with what it calls the Google Play Integrity API. We're told this new API includes all of the same integrity checks as we're already used to, but also includes some extra and more improved tools on top of it. With the Play Integrity API in place, developers are given granular control over which of these checks are being run and on which devices. This will result in a more custom tailored implementation of the API, while also offering different actions depending on the result. These new tools also include a way for developers to check app licensing issues, and even offers a way for them to check for app modifications for these games or applications that use dynamic app bundles. You may already be familiar with the plethora of safety net checker apps in the Google Play Store, but with this new Play Integrity API, there hasn't been many app developers creating checks for these new systems. This is where the Play Integrity API checker application comes into play, and it can be downloaded from the Google Play Store right now. I'll be linking to this in the video description below for those who are unable to find it via the search function. Once the application is installed, we can go ahead and open it up and we're going to be greeted with the three, the names of the three different checks that are being done with this API. All we have to do is tap the box labeled check toward the bottom of the screen. And after a few seconds, you're going to get a result. If you have a red X next to the check that is being done, that means you have failed that check. And if an application or game is using this, it could result in you not being able to use that application or game. If you have a green check mark next to it, that means you have passed that test. Again, since developers have granular control over these options and these checks, just because you fail one or more of these does not mean that you are guaranteed to not be able to use those applications or games. As you saw on my Poco F2 Pro running Lineage OS, it is not going to be able to pass all of these tests right now. 
we may end up with some Magisk modules in the future that allow us to pass these checks even if our device is bootloader unlocked and modified. But as of right now, I'm not familiar with any solution that is currently available as of recording this video. So these are the changes happening with the SafetyNet attestation API over the next couple of years and the introduction of the Google Play Integrity API. It will likely take some time for the Android community developers to bypass these checks, but then again, it may not be possible at all. We're just going to have to wait and see how things play out.